why the number one pick is important for trade down scenarios. What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears and NFL Draft related. I've had quite a few fans ask me what the difference is between the number one and number two pick and why it would matter in terms of trading down. So let me break it down in the easiest way possible. Let's say we get the number two pick and the draft order stays how it is. Most likely, the Texans would select Bryce Young with the number one overall pick, meaning nobody else in the draft has a chance at him. After Bryce Young is gone, it would mean our only hope as a trade down is if some team really wants to move up to get C.J. Stroud or Will Levis. And they know we aren't taking a quarterback, so they would have to be scared that the Seahawks or Colts behind us are going to take a quarterback and would want to jump above them. The odds aren't nearly as high. However, if we get the number one overall pick, it opens up a wealth of trade options. Think about it. Bryce Young is still on the board. Every team knows we aren't picking him, but the Texans most likely would at number two. Suddenly, any team that wants Bryce Young can come up and get him ahead of the Texans. We could trade down with a number of teams looking for a quarterback. There are a lot of options in the top 10. The Seahawks, the Indianapolis Colts, the Detroit Lions, the Atlanta Falcons, the Raiders, and Panthers all could theoretically be looking for a quarterback. If we have that number one pick, expect Ryan Poles to be in business right away and find a team that offers the most to move up and take Bryce Young. This would be a dream scenario in my opinion and would make all the tough losses this year worth it. To me, it all comes down to getting the number one pick though. If we have the number two pick, then Bryce Young is gone and most of the trade scenarios are too. With the number two pick, it's still possible we could trade down, but there are a lot more factors in play. The team trading up would have to want to come up and get C.J. Stroud or Will Levis they then would also have to think that they can't wait and stay where they are now. It's all highly speculative at this time, but the bottom line is if we do get the number one overall pick, the odds of trading down and acquiring a haul of extra draft picks goes way, way, way up. It's not just about the pick. It's about the players on the board and specifically quarterbacks. Teams don't usually trade up in the top 10, unless it's to get a quarterback. Last year, the number one pick wasn't worth as much because there wasn't a top QB available, and the Jags went with defensive lineman Trayvon Walker. However, the year before was much different. The Jaguars could have traded out of the number one pick, but they stuck around and took Trevor Lawrence. The Dolphins, meanwhile, turned their number three pick into three first-rounders and a third-round pick, because the 49ers wanted to move up and take Trey Lance. Situations like that are few and far between. You have to get lucky, and you have to be in a position that another team wants to get to. At the number two pick, there's a chance, but basically if we get the number one pick, expect us to trade down. If we get pick two or three, a trade down could still happen, but it's far less likely in my opinion. It all comes down to another team thinking they need to move up to get C.J. Stroud or Will Levis, and that comes down to a ton of outside factors. But basically, if the Texans win against the Colts this weekend and we lose, the number one pick is ours, and the odds of a trade down go way up. Stay tuned, guys. I'm working on some free agent and draft prep videos, as well as some other surprises. Stay tuned. Hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down.